What's up guys, Jade's Corner back here again for a new video. And in today's video, I will be providing to you guys the top five things that I want to see personally in Teen Wolf the movie. Now, these things might not align with the things you want to see. This video is just gonna cover the things that I, in my own personal opinion, want to come out of Teen Wolf the movie that comes out in 2022. So if you guys are excited to watch this video, make sure you guys leave a like. Also comment down below your thoughts on Teen Wolf the movie and what you guys wanna see too. And subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications so that you never miss a future upload from me. And without further ado, let's get into my top five things that I wanna see in Teen Wolf the movie 2022. So starting at number five, this is immediately gonna be a better story, which was kind of confirmed in the official plot synopsis that I provided to you guys about like almost a month ago at this point, around when the teaser trailer uh, first came out, which at the time of this recording is will be a month ago by the time you see this video drop. So yeah, I wanna see a better story. I wanna see um, just a clean slate. Just pretend that <laughs> the Tomorrow Monroe stuff never happened or it'd just be like, that was all something in Scott's head. I know that's not what they're gonna do, but I hope they do, because season six, part two was god awful. It was the worst season of the show, in my opinion. And I just, I don't want any references to Tamora Monroe, but I feel like we're gonna get some anyway, just to, you know, tie up loose ends and be like, oh, we took out Tamora years ago or something like that. So yeah, that's my number five. I want a nice, concise, confined clean story that's engaging entertaining and pr overall pretty good and uh, uh hints back to the roots of the series so at number four i want characters to return that we have not seen in a very long time um the <laughs> number one character i want to return who i haven't who we haven't seen in a <laughs> who God knows how long it's been. Isaac Leahy, Jesus Christ, they need to get Daniel Sharman on board with this film. I don't care what they need to do to do it, but they need to get Daniel Sharman on board. We haven't seen him, man. What's going on? We haven't seen him in a long time. I'm trying to see Isaac Leahy kick some ass, man. Like, he was one of my favorite characters in season two, and he was absolutely one of the standout characters for me in season three, man. Like, season two and three, I think, are greatly enhanced by me in my personal opinion by Isaac being there so I really like Daniel Sharman's character and the fact that we didn't get to see him come back in Teen Wolf the movie really pissed me off or not Teen Wolf the movie a Teen Wolf season six part two really pissed me off so I was like man if they do Teen Wolf the movie we have to get old characters back but bring them back in a way that makes sense don't force it in there if they're not naturally part of the story don't bring them back but if you want to bring them back make sure it makes sense like if you're going to bring back Kira you got to make it make sense to where she stopped her training with the skinwalkers if you don't make it make sense fans are immediately going to call it out um as soon as it appears on screen so just make sure you do a good job on that guys number three I want to see character development for a lot of the characters that were last seen on the show. Um, Scott McCall, especially, I wanna see what he's like as an alpha now. I wanna see if he's a little bit more, uh, you know, lenient on the no holds bar, don't kill. I wanna see if Scott's more okay with it now. Probably not, you know, how the writing for Teen Wolf is, but hopefully they get some new writers besides Jeff Davis for this film and hopefully it's okay. I know Jeff Davis is working on a script, but we don't know if anybody else is helping him alongside alongside him working on a script. So yeah, hopefully they write some stuff for a lot of the characters. Like I wanna see character development for Styles. I don't know what Styles has been up to, like what he's like now. I wanna see what Lydia's like now with their relationship and stuff like that. I wanna see what Malia's like now. Has she matured a lot? Has she grown as a as a character? Um, I just want to see where everybody is, man. I think everybody else does too. So, yeah, that's my number three. My number two is going to be new creatures. I want to see some new innovative creatures or just creatures people have been requesting to be on Teen Wolf for a long time. I know the number one creature people want to see is vampires. Um, if vampires are in the film, it's going to be really hard to explain where they've been all this time. Although I do think they could write their way around that and be like, maybe they were a damn near extinct species that the werewolves ran out, uh, you know, exterminated kind of like, um, an underworld type of thing, you know, um, with that, you know, film franchise. And, you know, if it's not vampires, just do something cool, man. Like, 
I thought personally, a Nukate was a really cool monster, although it could have been utilized a lot better than it actually was. Um, you could bring in were bears, um, were sharks, like just bring in some cool stuff that'll make the film interesting. I know the plot leak said that this is going to be the strongest villain that they've ever faced, which is really hyping the film up and it's really getting me excited because it's like, one, I got to make a whole bunch of new videos redoing my old list and two, <laughs> it's going to be really cool to see Scott go up against a, a villain that's going to give him a challenge, like... I feel like a lot of the past villains, aside from Douglas, but you know, they botched the power scaling for that. Every every reasonable Team Wolf fan knows that the power scaling for that was absolute garbage. Uh, aside from that and the Beast they, and the, the Dread Doctors, they really botched the, they really botched the uh, challenge for Scott in terms of the villains he had to face. So yeah, really excited that Scott might actually get a challenge in terms of a villain that might push him past his limits. So, and then number one thing that i want in teen wolf the movie and that is the resurgence of the teen wolf community on youtube i i know this has nothing to do with the film at all though it partially does but i personally feel as though alongside me alongside Krohiji, alongside teen wolf news I feel like this movie is going to spawn a new wave of people wanting to talk about Teen Wolf on YouTube. Now, I'm not talking about these reaction channels who just react to the show and then don't even reference or talk about Teen Wolf after they're done watching the whole series. I'm personally talking about people who are actually invested in this franchise like me, people who care about this franchise like me, people who put their hard work, time, and effort and sacrifice uh, pretty much their life outside of YouTube and, you know, stuff they could be doing besides this to, you know, spread the love for their favorite franchise, in this case being Team Wolf on YouTube. So I'm really hoping that the impact of this film and the reach of this film will really finally ignite that spark to bring back a lot of the OG Team Wolf YouTubers who left off of YouTube. Now, are they going to get called out for being grifters? Probably because they didn't talk about the show after it ended. Like once season six ended, a lot of them left and it was really just me for like four years until Team Wolf News came back last year and then Krohisi came back and then Krohisi started his channel in December 2020. So yeah, it's really just been me holding down the fort and it's, it's, it gets kind of lonely sometimes. So I want to collaborate with a lot of Team Wolf creators. I, I think that can make for some really badass content. So yeah, my number one thing is that uh, this reignites the Teen Wolf community on YouTube because prior to me being on YouTube, which I've only been around for four years, the Teen Wolf community was pretty live, bro. It was pretty live on YouTube, I'm not going to lie. Like, it was pretty live. So, yeah, I'm hoping we get back there again because uh, the big rumors that we're going to get about two or three more films after this. Personally, I wanted season seven. But if we get two or three more films, I wouldn't be mad at that either. At least we're getting a continuation. It's better than nothing. So, yeah, that's just my top five personal things from me that I want in Team Wolf the movie. Let me know what your top five personal things that you want to see in the movie are down in the comment section below. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Turn on post notifications so that you help us reach our goal of 5,000 subscribers soon. And without further ado, I'm JH Corner. Make sure you guys have a great rest of your day. Peace, love, and positivity as always. And I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Deuces.